Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, I've now taken the shots and tried everything out so that I can show you how you can do it right. First thing to do is you open Photoshop. I have the version CS6 extended. Then there I have my pictures. Then you select all of your pictures and drag and drop them in. I've done 12 pictures to fill everything up. Oh, and now you can see that they are all uh, already the adjustment made, so I'm going to do this, undo this. So, now you select your first picture and do your final picture adjustments. So the, the light was right, I added a little bit of contrast, put the, let the lights and the deeps as they are, adjust the white and black blacks and put a bit of clarity, a bit of dynamic and a bit of saturation in. And then what I do is I click on select everything and synchronize and then on OK. So and now we have all of the pictures synchronized together and they look all alike so that we won't have problems in Photoshop. Now you go to save the pictures as JPEGs Okay, now it's finished, so let's go here to finish. Um, next thing you have to do is in Photoshop you go to File, Scripts, and then um, Batch Loading. You have to search for your pictures, and there they are. And now I have to select all of them. Click OK. Don't check everything on here. Um, we will do those adjustments later. And then click OK. So now what it will do is it will load all of those pictures in layers here on the side. So every picture is one layer. So and now we are finished. So what we do now is we holding down the shift key we select all of them and the next thing we have to do is we have to auto align them so you go to the Arbeiten and there is layer automatically alignment you will get um, a few different um, there are a few different ways to do this I always take the auto 
press OK. Now it will take a bit and it will align all of those layers. Okay, now we're finished and now we see there are a few there are a few frames around here and we select we, we take the select tool and crop the picture with it just like that we will crop it later on again so that should be okay confirm it now everything should be selected and now we come to the focus stacking you find that here under edit and here automatic blending you get your menu it automatically knows that it should um, focus stack then not to do a panorama and then click OK and let it do is its thing Okay, we have an error message. That should be easy to fix. It says that um, the work volume is full. So let's adjust that. You can do that under um, edit. Yes. Yeah, we have the menu. Okay, let's save that. So now let's close Photoshop and open it up again because you need for the changes to work you have to reopen it let's reopen our project there we go and try it again
Okay, and there we are guys. It is finished and it looks really really amazing. The details in here are really great but we can see around the edges here um, there are problematic places. So we have spots around here and here and up here. So what we will do is we will crop the picture leaving those parts out. The picture will be looking amazing without them. We accept it. And the last thing to do is go to um, File, Save As, do a JPEG or whatever you like, and save it. Choose your JPEG options, press OK, and we are done. So guys, that was how to do focus stacking from the beginning with the picture taken to the entire uh, the, the, the entire post processing process. The results are amazing and I will put the end picture after this clip. So thank you very much and goodbye.